Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to be cooking rotisserie ribs on the TurbiQ rotisserie cooker. If you're not familiar with TurbiQ, be sure to check out the link above to the video that I cooked the, the rotisserie chicken on and basically how we set up using the cooker. Today I'm just going to show you the ribs and how we do it. So that video will give you a little bit more in-depth information on the cooker itself. So let's go ahead and get our ribs seasoned up and ready to put on the TurbiQ. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and season our ribs up. This is a nice rack of ribs that we have here. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on both sides. Spray it down real good. All right, we got our olive oil on. We put it on both sides. I've already removed the membrane off the back. We're gonna do two layers, and we're gonna be using Suckle Busters on both. And this is the SPG rub by Suckle Busters. Put a layer of that on. We've got our layer of SPG on both sides. Our next layer is gonna be the hog waller. This is some great stuff. I did some ribs a while back on the Jumbo Joe. I'll put a link up above to that video as well. Again, all sides. Now that we have our ribs all seasoned up, we're gonna let these sit out and let all this sweat really well and absorb some of the seasoning and we'll get the turbie cue ready. So we'll see you out there. All right, we got the ribs turning. It's self-propelled from the heat. Their charcoals are lit from the bottom and the heat rises up and turns that rotisserie. Again, it's self-propelled. And we're looking at about an hour and we'll be done with these ribs. So we'll keep an eye on it. All right, we are 30 minutes into the cook. Hopefully you can see it. It's browning nicely and it's pretty much on its own now as far as spinning. So another 30 minutes and we should be good to go. Let's check these ribs to see where we are internal. 205. 190. 195. Two hundred. So we're basically where we want to be at. I think I'm going to give them about five more minutes. Again, that will be giving us a total time of one hour, and then we'll cut into them. All right, we've taken the ribs off. As you can see, there's a bow in there, and that's from when it was on the rotisserie spinning. And we put some barbecue sauce on it, and it's the Barbecue Beast Carolina. We put that on there and let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes. So let's cut into it. I'm gonna have to probably turn it up so I can see what the bone is at. We didn't use any smoke because it was only in there for an hour. So cut off a couple pieces here and then we'll bring you in close to let you take a look at them. Hopefully you can see it like right here. There's a lot of juice going on in there. Lots and lots of juice. So let's give it a try right quick. Hopefully you can see that. It's some great color. We're going to give it a bite right quick. Pulls away from the bone. Doesn't fall off the bone. It's cooked perfect. It's a little thin on this side. Mm -mm. Let's give it a bite on here on this side. Look at that. Mm -mm. The flavors of that barbecue beast, along with suckle busters, great, great combination. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth a little bit, I can't help it, it's so good. I'll leave the information below in the show more section, everything that was used, the turbie Q information. They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, Go there and check them out. I'll leave the information for their website as well. Sucker Busters and also Barbecue Beast. Awesome flavors. Highly recommend all of them, guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. Thank you so much. God bless.